I've been waiting for this day for so long. I've had this subwoofer for probably about four plus years. Uh, and as I mentioned in the Tundra video, this chunky boy eight inch scar woofer. And by hard place, I mean the back seat of my Toyota Tundra Crew Max. And then I thought maybe I could put it in the BMW, but that car doesn't run and it's a drift car. So where does this go? What's up crew? Welcome to another video. My name is John Connie, AKA Big Man Syndrome. And today we're building a box for this chonky boy eight inch scar EVL. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They ain't not tired of me never. Give me a shot and I, oof. I swear I shoot like Boretta's. Yeah, yeah. They getting nervous, I seen it. I love sound systems. And I've, I think I've had just about every setup you can imagine, from basic to over-engineered. Interestingly enough though, I've not done eight inch subs, well, successfully. Like I've mentioned in the Tundra video, I tried two eight inch shallow mount scars in a sealed box and absolutely hated it. I'm an advocate for porting your box. Two eights in a sealed box sounds like piece of garbage. Well, I still have some concerns about the size. So I know typically the smaller you go, uh, the less bass you get, but you typically get that back in response with something like an eight inch sub. Plus this chonky magnet has got to be great for bass. So let's find out. Plenty of box has never been easier. There's a lot of tools out online that will give you exact dimensions of the box based on your applications. I still like to have a little more control of the final shape, so I follow the simple calculation width times depth times height divided by 1728. That gives you external volume in square feet, but you must remove the walls. If you're using half inch thick wood, that's pretty easy. You minus one inch per dimension. If you're using three fourths, you will minus 1.5 per dimension. But if you're porting, you'll need to calculate the volume displaced by the port area and the walls that are inside of the box. That's where things can get a little bit weird and where I started using the online tools to get a sense of what area port would be best for the application and adjust all the dimensions based on that. Before I dive into the specifics of this video, I wanted to go over some notes from the Tundra box build. I had to do some weird math to, to handle the weird shape of that box. When calculating that weird shape, I did a little workaround because there was two different shapes uh, from the side profile, a rectangle, and a uh, rhombus, I think, some sort of quadrilateral. I calculated these two shapes separately. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the exact dimensions uh, for this you know, build, so I can't really do the actual math, but let's just say I got 0.3 and 0.75. Uh, so I took those two and got 1.05. Based on that calculation, I didn't think it was enough, so I went through this whole rabbit hole of trying to add volume underneath the folding seats. And after realizing that that wasn't gonna work, I was like, wait, I totally forgot to do something. I had totally forgot that there was this, whole, this wall here that I miscalculated. I had calculated the volume of this and the volume of this. So once I calculated without that potential wall that would have been there if it was two separate boxes on top of each other, uh, it, it came out to the right volume. So for this box, I went simple, but not. Same, same, but different. This is gonna be a plain Jane box with a twist. And there's really three reasons why. Uh, I only have one sheet of MDF and I really don't wanna go and get another sheet. Plexiglass is gonna be dope as hell with this chunky magnet. And then LED lights, because purple is going to go with the theme, which hopefully you'll understand later. The, this is essentially my chicken scratch of this simple box. The outer dimensions of this rectangle are 24 by 12 by 12. Yep, simple. That's two square feet of total volume. For internal dimensions, it's 22.5 by 10.5 by 10.5, and that's going to give me 1.44 uh, internal volume. The recommended volume of this is 0.96 from the calculator online and the port was two inches, but I wanna go thicker. Hope that doesn't kill me. So we are looking at 2.5 inches by 10 and a half inches of port area. And the goal volume of that port is 0.33. So to get to that, we make it the length 22 inches. 
So the plexiglass is gonna be here on the mounted side so that you can see that beautiful sub. And it's gonna be at a 90 degree angle here. They're gonna be about 12 by 12 by 12. Uh, so it's gonna be a square out of 90. So I've done this style of box before without the plexiglass and that was with my L7 15 inch uh, kicker. That was an amazing box. I'm gonna side mount the sub so that's firing towards the driver's side wheel. Uh, and the only difference that I'm gonna make here is I'm gonna have the port facing the cabin. I had the port for the 15 facing the trunk and oh boy, the trunk rattle was real. Uh, and I, I believe facing the port towards the cabin is actually the recommended way anyways, because that's where all the loud bass is gonna go. And then we're gonna reduce that rattle because I, I really don't want this amazing car to have that much rattle. All right, enough explaining. Let's build this thing. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They ain't not tired of me, never. Yeah. Give me a shot and I, oof. I swear I shoot like Berettas. Yeah, yeah. They getting nervous, I seen it. What I seen, you wouldn't believe it. They said they want it, I need it. Damn. Well, as you might guess, I'm on my way to Home Depot. I thought I had enough wood and I didn't do enough mathing. And I thought by cutting this window out with a plexiglass, I would have the face for the uh, sub to mount on. And then I might have a back to close the box up. I started looking at the piece of wood and like, I actually don't have anything for the port walls. I'm just gonna go to Home Depot, which they sell the two by four foot MDF pieces because I definitely don't want to buy a four by eight. Uh, that would just be too much. There's no reason for that, but. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. Yeah. Give me a shot and I oof. I swear I shoot like Berettas. Back and I'm better than ever. Yeah. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. <sighs> Reminiscent of the uh, Tundra build, if you saw that video. First attempt, trash in the garbage. What it really comes down to is I have the wrong tools. So a note for anybody watching this, thinking about doing your first box build or getting back into building a subwoofer box for your project car. Uh, if it's been a while or you had somebody else do it and you wanna do your own this time, get the right tools. Unless you're really, really good at handling a circle saw, uh, you're probably not gonna end up with really, really straight cuts. And as you saw, I tried to use a guide and it still didn't cut straight cuts. Uh, that was super frustrating. And I mean, I hate to blame them, but Home Depot, it just didn't have true edges at all. And that's happened before. Their four by eight foot piece that I bought uh, for this new one was great, perfect. And I also got a table saw, finally. After I don't know how many years of building subwoofer boxes, I finally got a table saw. Well, anyways, talking too much. Let's get back into it. Give me a shot and I oof. I swear I shoot like Berettas. That's how I shoot. Lately, I'm driven like I'm on a rope. Damn, my land dog, I told him to move. Now that I'm popping, got too much to lose. Look at the numbers, got nothing to prove. I'm in the city, just me and my crew. Told me I'm sick and I know that it's true, but I'm still gonna boss like I got a flu. Yeah, run it up. I told him that I'm coming back, so let me get all of that. Time is now, I'm coming around to get a check. Said I need my taxes back. Over time, I'm getting mine, so get in line. And it's with no respect that I told him all about the ball, getting chips. Feeling like Kobe Shaq. <laughs> Back and I'm better than ever. Whoa. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me, never. Yeah. Give me a shot and I oof. I swear I shoot like Berettas. Yeah. Yeah. So as much as I want to test this thing, I can't yet put it in the new project car because I'm not quite ready to put a sound system in there. I might do it temporarily uh, without like hiding wires. I'm super excited after failing on Saturday, wasting a complete day. I also decided to go from three fourths to a half inch um, wood box, much lighter, much easier to work with. And with the table saw, all the cuts came out amazing. While I'm not going to put it in the Car, I do have this extra battery from anti-gravity. Um, it's actually the wrong size battery for the Beamer, which I'll have a story about that another time. <laughs> it has enough juice in it to hook up this amp. And what I've done is I've hooked it up to my, or my, my laptop and I can at least do a quick test just to hear how it sounds, if there's any 
issues with the seal to the, the rest of the box other than the port. I also adjusted the dimensions a little bit, which I'll flash them up on the screen here. I, I went back to the drawing board and completely re tried to re-understand what I was trying to do here. I think it's gonna sound great. I already did a, a, a mini test while I was on a work call. Here's what I got. Let's see, I guess I should use some royalty-free music so I don't get popped. Okay, it's not playing. That's interesting. Did something get unplugged? Oh, switched audio. It's been sitting around for a while. I've a feeling it might not be good, or I'm hearing a leak of air around the subwoofer. Could anything else go wrong with this? <laughs> <laughs> there it is, the text from my wife. Bro, what the heck? So clearly it's boomy enough. I'm concerned there's a little, little whiffing, I'm gonna call it, just <laughs> So there's air around the sub. When I cut the circle out for the sub, um, I might have gone a little bit wide because it has some wiggle room. Turns out all I needed to do was put the rest of the four screws in. I had four out of eight screws in, and so there was no seal on all of it. Sounds good. Now, anyways, that's enough talking. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got plans for a sound system in your car, let me know down in the comments what you're getting, what kind of setup you're looking to do, and I'll, I'll add my two cents if it's worth anything. But uh, go spend some money on that money pit.